The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. and this is Professor Roy. I'm delighted to see you. Thank you. I think we need to introduce part of our staff. Here is Sebastian, Amy, Hi. Jafat, and Adrienne. Are you Hello. glad to be here? Yes. yes. Yeah. I see something here. What do you have for us today? Well, we've got some liquid nitrogen in this ice chest. Isn't mm. that cool? And we got a little frost over here. But you know what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take some energy away from something. When we go outside, we're going to put energy into something. That'd be cool. I can't So wait. what I have is I have a little racquetball right here, and the racquetball can bounce. I can bounce it on that steel plate, and that bounces pretty well. And now, and you can hold that for me, but now inside of that liquid nitrogen cooler right here, I have another racquetball just like that. And what we've done is we're taking energy away from it, and we're getting it very, very cold. In fact, we're getting that as cold as outer space. Do you think it'll bounce if we bounce it? Oh, well, let's give it a try. Are you ready? Oh, get ready. Okay, you got your safety glasses safety on? Safety glasses on. All right, everybody has All their right. safety glasses. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that right there. We're going to give a countdown. Three, two, one. I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to bounce it on here. I hope it doesn't hit the ceiling. Are you ready? <laughs> countdown, let's go. Three, Three two, two, one, one. and... What happened to it? Did you find some pieces over there? I found some pieces. What happened to this racquetball? We took so much energy away from it, and it just cracked into many, many pieces. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Wow. Hey, so what we can do now is we can put some energy into a lot of air. Would you like to see that? Yes, I can't wait. You want to lead us out? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yay. Let's find out what's happening. Whoa, did you see this? Whoa. What is it doing? What do you think it is? I don't know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is it, is it hot or cold? What is it? Cold. Oh, it's really cold. cold. But hot looks that the same way, doesn't it? Yeah, how did you know it was cold? Mm. We got some white stuff around. Frost. What is that white stuff? What do you think that white stuff is? Frost. It's frost, that's right. Cool. Where did the frost come from? It's not snowing or nothing. No. Huh? The stuff inside it. Yeah. It's warming up. How about the moisture in the air? Yeah, the moisture in the air. We're condensing the moisture in the air, and it forms that little fog, a little little uh, crusty stuff over there, that frost. That's interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think we have in there? Mm. Is it liquid nitrogen? That's right. We have liquid nitrogen in there. Now, liquid nitrogen happens to be the second coldest liquid that we know of in the universe. Isn't that interesting? You know what the first, first one is? No. It's North Dakota. <laughs> no, not really. It happens to be liquid helium, but we don't have liquid helium. We have liquid nitrogen today, so we're going to do an experiment, all right? Now, take a deep breath. Here we go. And exhale. Now, most of the air that we're breathing right now is made out of what element? Say nitrogen. Nitrogen. <laughs> nitrogen. That's right. It's nitrogen. About 78% of the air that we breathe is nitrogen. Only about 21% of the air that we breathe is oxygen. Then we add those two up, and we get what? 78 plus 21 is... Get that compute 99. That's right. So 99% of the air is a combination of all that. That 1% that's left over is, is another gas that we call argon. Interesting, isn't it? Well, what we're going to do is we, if we take liquid nitrogen and we change it from a liquid into an air gas, and it takes a whole lot more space, and that's what it's all about. And, and we're going to build up, build up a lot of pressure. So what I have right here, let me go ahead. Let me put my glove on. We're going to show you what happens with the expansion rate from a liquid into an air gas. So what I have, let me move this over right here. I have these little containers right here. Do you know what these are? No. No, but you know. Film canisters. They're film canisters, <laughs> that's right. You know, our cameras today, a lot of our cameras don't use film, right? Well, some do, some professionals may, but we use, you know, video, right? Sure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this in each one of these little cups right here, okay? And let's see what we got. And it's going to start to boil away. By the way, the liquid nitrogen is boiling away right now. It's boiling right now. And the temperature of it is about a minus 321 degrees Fahrenheit. Do we use Fahrenheit measurements in science now? Say no. No. <laughs> no. So we use what? We use what? What's the other scale? Celsius. Celsius, that's right. 
So on the Celsius scale, it's about uh, a minus 196 degrees Celsius. It's very, very cold. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little lids on really, really lightly, okay? And they, here, let me move this over there, but be careful, all right? And I'm going to put them on really, really tight. They snap on really, really tight. Then when we do that, it, we're going to cause a lot of pressure to build up. We got so much pressure to build up, what do you think is going to happen to the lids? They're going to pop, pop off. off. They're going to pop off, okay, cool. And maybe you can catch one, okay, I'm not sure. Let me put, let me put this down here so that won't spill, and I'm going to click them down tight. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Oops, so there's one, there's two, and there's three, and there's four, and then we'll have a little, whoa, oh, there goes whoa. one, there goes one, wow. there goes one. What we got, you got your glasses on? Yep. And there's two Woo. and there's three, we got one more. Whoa, oh. we got one. Whoa. Can anybody catch that? I didn't know where that one went. Oh, cool. <laughs> hey, let's go ahead. Hey, would that be, was that fun to see? Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's supersize this, okay? Uh -oh. Let's supersize this. We got an experiment where we're going to take uh, oh about 100 milliliters of the liquid nitrogen, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to make a cannon out of it. Would that be cool? Yes. Well, here, come on over here. Let's see what we got. Come on over here. Let's see what we got. All right, here we go. And here's our here's our little cannon. All right, there's our cannon. And let's see what we're going to need is we're going to need a little bottle. We're not going to use a film container. We're going to use a bottle. Okay, and uh, we're going to put a little bit of liquid nitrogen. Okay, right inside of our little bottle right here. Okay. Now let's see. Let's make sure we have enough in there. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. If it gets too cold, just yell. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right there we go. And we're making a cloud because we're condensing the water molecules in the air. Okay, we're building up a lot of pressure right there. All right there we. Whoa, okay, you missed it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. All right, all right. There we go. There we go. Thank you. And we're going to get some more in there. Some more in there. Some more in there. Some more in there. Okay, I think we're good right there. This is really cool. Look at that. Now, it's starting to frost on the outside, isn't it? We're yeah. picking up some frost right there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here, all right? And here's a little cannon. If you'll take that football, okay. take the football out of there, okay? okay? And we're going to try to make a field goal okay, with Ooh. the football. We want this to happen really, really quickly, so we're going to warm up the liquid nitrogen in a hurry, and we can do that if we put it in some water, all right? All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of water in our little cannon right here. Let's see what we got right here. See how much water we got. Oh, that's just about perfect. All right, I'm going to put the lid back on this right here, and maybe you, maybe you could set that down over there someplace. All right. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my lid. Whatever happened to my lid? What did I do with my lid? You have my lid? No. I didn't. Oh, I need that lid. Maybe this lid. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Okay, cool. And I'm going to go, is I'm going to put the lid on this and I'm going to drop it in there, okay? And then you can hand me the football. Okay. And then I'm going to join you over there. Do you, wanna, you want this other no, glove? No, I okay. don't. Okay. All right. All right, so here we go. All right, so I'm going to put the lid on this right here, all right? And ready? get ready to hand yes. me the football. Yep. All right, get ready to hand me the football. Yeah, probably. Okay. Here we go. We're going to put it right in there. All right, here we go. And you might want to cover your ears because it does make a loud noise. It should shoot over there someplace. How about a countdown? 10, 9, 8, eight 7, seven six, 6, 5, 4, 3, three 2, two one. 1. It should bless. And there goes Woo! the football. <laughs> Way over there in the grass. How about that? Isn't that cool? That hey, let's come on over here. Let's awesome. come back over here. Was. Come back over here. Let's come back over the table. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Check this out. Let's check this out. That was fun. Hey, pick up a lid if you can find the lid. The lids are all over the place. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Look at the bottle. What happened to the bottle? Got uh, shredded <laughs> up. Got it just blew apart, didn't mm -hmm. it? When we get up tight, you know, we could explode. You know, people could explode when we get up tight. So, you know, but, you know, God never gave us a cap, did he? We don't have a screw cap. So what, did, what, do, we, what do we need to do if we get too, uh, too much pressure inside of us? Can we let it out? Yeah. What's a good way of letting out pressure? Well, I can think of something. Sometimes when I get frustrated, I need to go outside in nature. Do you like going out in nature? Yes. Yeah. I love nature. And sometimes the best place is in a quiet place, maybe by the water. Do you have a stream by your house anywhere? Mm -hmm. yeah. I love doing that. What, what do you like to do when there's a lot of pressure and you feel stressed out? Some people like to do what? Kind of disconnect of the world and just go outside and relax. Outside and relax. What do you like to do? I also like nature, but sometimes talking to 
my friends or my best friend God really helps. Yeah, I thought you might say singing. I thought you do a lot of singing. Do yeah, like music, sing? music is nice too. Yeah, I thought so. How about you, Professor Roy? Oh man, well I like to go outside too and take walks in nature. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Do science experiments. That's really a good way of. It well. is fun. I love I love to see that 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 ball. It went high up in the air, didn't it? It, it really yeah, flew it up high. Awesome. Very high. How about you, Adrian? What do you like to do when you are feeling a lot of stress and pressure? And Just nervous? go and stay somewhere by myself. Sometimes a quiet time. How about you, Sebastian? Just go outside and. Stay I agree. By myself. I agree. Nature is a really good time to have in, in outside and being out in the sun, sunshine. Yeah. And you know, it reminds me of a lot of things. How far did that go? Did that go really far? Yeah. Quite a ways. It went really. Now, is this something you can do at home? <laughs> no. Please no. don't do this at home. I've never bought ni liquid nitrogen because yeah. that's that can be. Yeah, do it at somebody stuff. else's house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you said with the Mentos, right? You yeah. can do that with the Mentos, but you know what? I like how far that went, and it reminds me of a story in the Bible about mounting on, do you know what? On eagle's wings. Eagle's wings. Wow. I love that song, and mounting on eagle's wings, because God helps us soar farther than we can do. Does God know your plans? Yes. And what yeah. he's doing in your life? He does. He sure does. He has a lot of plans, and I really want to say thank you for all that you're doing out here, because this is fun. Do any of you have any questions? Oh. I can think of some. Is liquid nitrogen flammable? No, you know, it's not flammable at all. You can put a match in there and it just will go out, which is interesting. It's an inert element. Things usually don't combine with it. Pretty cool. It's crystal clear. It looks just like water. Didn't it look like water when it went yes. in there? Yeah, it's crystal clear. Has no smell, has no taste, but uh, would you want to put it in your mouth? No. no. I don't think I'd want to put no. it in my mouth. They do surgery with it too. Wow. It's cool. Well, have you ever had a wart or something on your skin? Yes. They, can, they can actually freeze it off. It's oh, interesting that's because when this comes in contact with your skin cells, all of our skin cells has moisture in it, right? Mm -hmm. what, what happens with water when we freeze it? What happens to it? It expands. It expands. That's right. The crystalline structure gets larger and that's what happens to the water in your cells. It expands and it ruptures your cell. It just ruptures it and that's what kills your cells. How interesting. They do brain surgery with it too. How about that? Yeah, it's just awesome stuff, isn't it? But it's very, very cold. You know, we could make a little, uh, a little waterfall cloud Ooh. coming over there. Would that be fun? Yeah. yeah okay, let's I'm just going to pour it out there and watch and see what happens. And it makes that cloud because of the condensation of the water molecules in the air. We can't see those little molecules. We're going to see a bunch of them. Are you ready? Yes. yes. How about a countdown? Three, two, one. Three, right. two, two, one. one. Whoa. 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 Oh, cool. wow, that's Look at all that. So oh, there's a little tiny water molecules. Wow, trillions of them. Clouds that's amazing. It and it's going to go away. Just like the clouds that you see sometimes. It they appear is. and then they, then they just disappear. That's fun, huh? Yeah. Are you ready? It's getting hot out here. Oh, Are you I'm ready, ready to go in? Thank yeah. you. Let's head out here. Let's, right, let's go. I surely enjoyed all that energy. Wasn't that powerful? Yes. yes. I enjoyed that. That reminds me about some strength. Can you read that Bible text for us? Sure. Amy, can you help us out? What was that verse in Isaiah, I believe? Isaiah 40, verse 31. And it says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I would like not to ever get tired. Wouldn't you like to do that? Always have the strength yeah. from whom? Yes. God. From God. We can always ask Jesus for a lot of strength because he's going to carry us through everything. Aren't you excited about that? Yes. Mm -hmm. We can see God's creation all around us because creation is? Science. Science.